Uh, well, we've been playing a lot of these games. You just don't play them week in and week out with anything on the line. And, uh, so that's where the excitement is. The excitement is just coming into a legitimate conference. And I do think that the four teams coming in uh, even add a little bit more you know, to uh, the credibility uh, of a great conference. And uh, certainly, uh, I think, give it more of an identity on the West Coast. You know, it's hard for people to believe that are in the Big Sky, but the truth is on the West Coast, People really aren't that familiar with it, even though Sac State's been playing in the Big Sky. But now with Cal Poly and Davis in the Big Sky, I think it just is going to add so much more to uh, the overall credibility of the conference, at least the identity on the West Coast. Um, but for us, it's so exciting just to come into an established conference. You know, my ten whole tenure as head coach, you know, we've been independent or in a little conference with five teams. Again, a lot of teams that people don't know much about. So. Uh, it, it just is what we've been looking forward to for so long. We kept thinking we might get an affiliate membership, um, but you know, all our other sports were in a great place in the Big West. Um, so for us now to actually be in the conference, um, it, it's awesome. It's one of the big reasons I decided to come back one more year is because uh, I wanted to see us transition into that conference um, in addition to the 22 seniors that will be on the team this year. Sure. Well, what you mentioned about you know, being in a conference with five teams, now, now you can double the number of conference games. Does that oh, absolutely. change with, when you look at the, everything? Well, it, it's not that you change anything. I mean, you're in a routine to get your team ready to play. But, but you know, we're playing Montana State one week. Well, we're interested in what Northern Arizona is doing against uh, Eastern Washington, too, because it all has a bearing in the conference and the playoff picture. And that's, that's, that's where the legitimacy is. Some of these big, you know, you see all this realignment in college football. It's exciting. And it's exciting because you're part of something bigger than yourself. And it just adds just much more luster and excitement and enthusiasm, not only for your, your football team, but for your fans and alumni as well. Sure, sure. How about yourself and the the emotions of this year? How, how will you approach that, and, you know, especially as the games go by? I don't know. You know, I mean, how do you ever know something like that if you've never experienced it before? So I don't know. I can imagine a little bit that as we start to wind the season down, and you start to realize it's your last team meeting or your last practice or your last game, you know, sharing those special moments with all the players that have played with you, played for you. Yeah, I can imagine the emotions, you know. I tend to be an emotional person anyway, so I can, I can only imagine. But right now I'm so focused on the big sky and this season and getting the team ready and uh, trying to help our seniors you know, uh, meet some of the goals that they've set for themselves and the team. That, that, that's where my you know, level of interest is right now. Sure. You have, obviously have some talented individuals. Right? All conference teams kind of reflect that. What is going to surprise people around the big part about your team? Yeah, I, I think we're going to play with uh, leadership. We're going to play very hard. I think we'll be disciplined. Uh, that comes when you have 22 seniors. We just haven't had a nucleus like that. I think the last couple of years we've had 11 or 13 seniors. But these are, and even in those 11 and 13, half of them are starters. We, we have a lot of guys that have gotten a lot of experience in the last few years. And uh, I think over the long haul of the season, that's where it pays dividends. Is, uh, you know, when you have, because you know, you're going to have ups and downs. Uh, when you have that kind of leadership, um, you don't let it get you down. You keep moving forward. You know, you keep you know, continuing to remind yourself what your ultimate goals are. And uh, I, I think that as much as anything. You know, you, I, I don't pay much attention to the polls. Obviously, people don't think that, um, based on how we did last year, that, you know, we're going to be a team that's going to be in the running. Um, and that's to be seen, if we are or not. And I think that uh, I think people will understand that there's some quality there. And, uh, I think they'll be surprised at how well we're playing at the end of the season, which much like at the beginning of the season. Sure. Coach, I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.